Hi everybody, I'm Ryan. I'm doing a six speed swap on my G35. And I just wanted to go over a couple things, you know, in case you guys are having trouble with it. Uh, some things that I've learned from other people. Uh, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Cleric620 or 670 on g35driver.com. Um, it's a forum. Uh, if you own one of these G35s, you need to join it so you can get, you know, some information about them, uh, especially if you're going to work on them. So if you're going to six-speed swap, I went with the CD09 Gen 2 um, because of uh, synchro issues. So uh, we're going to cut right to the chase now. Um, when you're doing the wiring, you want to wire in your reverse switch and your part neutral safety switch. So your part neutral safety switch is actually under the dash. I'll show you that in a second. And your reverse lights come right here from this relay. Now, this is your fuse box. They call it the IPDM. Intelligent power distribution module. Now, it has a little door here. You can pop that open with a screwdriver. And then push this uh, clip right in there with a screwdriver and push down on your relay and it'll slide out of there, slide out of that socket. And then you have them right here. You're not gonna use this relay, okay? Instead, you're gonna use these two wires. You have to cut or clip. There's two yellow with a red stripe. It doesn't matter which one because they're both inputs. One, in, one, this purplish, bluish looking wire goes out to your reverse lights. So this is what you're going to put your switch in. All you're doing is you're putting a switch on either side of that. So whenever you put your transmission in, into reverse, uh, it will push that switch in and complete the circuit and then it'll light your reverse lights on. Simple, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run two wires off of these and then run them into the cabin, probably via right here or somewhere else. And uh, this is your part neutral position wire. It is green with an orange stripe. And it's under the glove box off the ECU plug and it's pin 102. That's the pin off of the ECU, not on the plug. So if you get on, like I said, G35 driver and you look up 6MT swap, um, you're going to see there's a pin out for the, uh, ECU. That's for the ECU. That's not for the plug. Okay. So don't get confused there. Um, so it's pin 102 on the ECU mirrored. It comes out to here. I'll show you where it's actually at on the plug. So you can just pull down the plug and go right to it. It's going to be, you see how there's two rows right there? There's two tiers, and then each tier has a row in it. Okay. The top row right here on the bottom tier that my thumb's on, that middle row right there. The fourth one in right there. Um, on the back side, anyhow, is your green wire with the orange stripe. You're going to run him down to the switch. Now, what I did was I ran that across here and then in through here, then out here into the back of this plug. There's already a pigtail here and I'm gonna use the wires from this pigtail. You need a ground for that PMP switch. So you have your input and I chose the wire beside the ground wire. There's two on this pigtail, on, on this connector. The blue one with the uh, with the curved copper on the end there, and then that yellow one there, can't really see on this camera, that's a ground as well. So you can use either one of them if you want to, or you can just take it, you know, take your ground and run it securely somewhere else. I'm using these because they're already ran in the car and I'm sure they're grounded 
better than I can do, or, you know, it's going to save me some time. So if you want to do it that way, go ahead. Um, now I use my voltmeter to find these grounds. Okay. I'm not just going on a whim here. I actually went and did a continuity test and they do go to ground. Okay. So it's safe to use them. I'm going to use this brown one for my PMP input, which is why I fed him to the back of it and connected it there. So that's going to go down along here, along the side. I'm going to feed him down in both of these two wires on this side of the transmission, passenger side of the transmission, something like that. But I'm going to put the pretty, you know, loom on. I have some of this in, in the house here. I'm going to put that stuff on and get it all taped up. And I'm going to have a basically a transmission sub harness that I can unplug and do repairs to, you know, in the future if I need to. So, um, these wires actually went to the uh, automatic shifter that used to be here and I cut them away. You're not going to reuse them. So then uh, in the back side of this, I'm going to run those two wires from the reverse switch to here. Now I used a blue and brown wire for this side and I got lucky and there is a free blue and brown wire over here that I'm going to use. So it'll be blue and brown for both sides. So my brown wire is going to be my hot and my blue is going to be my ground. So I'm going to run my input into the brown wire since that's, I uh, chose that to be my, you know, hot. And this is my input for my PMP. This is my input. It'll be the yellow and red, the yellow wire with the red stripe. And then the purple wire is going to be ran to this. Now down in underneath, I got the pigtails. I got the pigtails off the internet uh, from Nissan. Cost me about $53 with shipping. Now the sensors. Are both the same as far as connector wise. So when you do find them. Um, they're just the two wire. And when you do find them, just get two of them because they, both the sensors are the same. Um, so there's a black and a white wire on these on these uh, pigtails. So black wire is obviously, I'm gonna use that for ground and then the white wire is gonna be my signal. So I'm just gonna try and keep it true like that and keep it real neat. So that part will be done. Now, there is more to this. Um, there's more wiring that needs to be done as far as the clutch and stuff. I haven't done any of that. I haven't gotten over there yet. Um, I've seen some information and like, like I said, um, again, I want to give credit to, uh, Cleric, um, 670, I believe is his name, something like that. Uh, he's a smart dude and actually took the time to make sure that I knew what I was doing. And, uh, I wanted to make this video so that you guys now know what you're doing. Um, so that's what we're going to go with. Um, to be continued. Uh, thank you for your time, and um, I hope you get this done, and good luck with it.